is Luke Gingen. I farm here in southwest Minnesota. On our sprayer here, we have the air system so we can adjust the air pressure on our tires. Infield, that requires a VF tire, which my dad did a lot of research on last year and knew that that's what we wanted on our sprayer. And talking to guys through NTS, trying to just help with compaction in our fields as we do multiple passes with post, doing herbicide and fungicide in tall standing corn. If we didn't have our system on, we would probably just find a happy medium with our wheel air pressure and you know, you're gonna wear them out faster on the road and you're not gonna be ideal conditions in the field for doing compaction. So the system helps be able to get the best of both worlds. When it comes to operating the system, to deflate from 55 PSI down to 30, it, it takes a minute and a half, two minutes, and to go up it takes probably three minutes, what I've noticed. I usually hit the up button right as I'm getting close to the driveway and getting folded up. Usually it'll just take three minutes and I wait that usually before I pull out of the field. The first thing I noticed when they put the system on is they drilled a hole in the rim to add the system on so you still have your original valve stem so you can unhook the system and use it the exact same as you normally would a tire. And then it's got the hookups here from the, the air compressor so you can unhook it here and that spins along with the tractor. So when I put my floaters on for pre's, we just had these up in a storage spot back here. So they were out of the way for our wheels. And then they have this here so you can adjust to where you wanna be at so you're not into the tire at all. And if you're in the crop, you're not hitting that either. And then it's protecting all the hose lines so you don't catch them either. Here we have the air compressor. You see up on the back, there's air compressor that's hooked in through the hydraulics to run it, and then it's connected through the tank on the sprayer, so there's no additional air tank to store. And then it works with the sprayer compressor then and the one we just added on to be able to help speed things up lifting-wise. In the cab here then is just the screen or the box that they provide you with where you can select which axles you want to adjust and then the up pressure and the down pressure. Or when you want to just see what your tires are, you can tap two buttons and it'll tell you exactly where you're sitting at. I guess on the sprayer here, we don't utilize it, but on other tractors, we've got the system on. With the air compressor, you can hook up a hose to the tank and be able to utilize that to be able to blow off. Say you have it on your grain cart, you can blow off your combine and stuff. So it gives you a little bit of versatility in the field. So you could actually air up other tires if you really needed to. So we have it on the rear wheels on our planter tractor and then also on our planter main four wheels to be able to help with compaction in that season too.